Max finds out he has the power to transform into anyone wearing their shoes. Will he use it for good or get himself into trouble? You'll have to stick around to the end to see how the whole story unfolds. Hello and welcome to Comedy Recap. Today we will give you a recap of the film The Cobbler. Spoilers ahead, obviously. And without further ado, let's dive right into it. The movie starts with a bunch of men sitting together in a meeting at night. They discuss with the cobbler about their problems with Gurgerman. They then gave a pair of boots to the cobbler. The cobbler took the boots back to his workshop and started to stitch them. The cobbler's son, Max, came to him and asked what he was doing. His father replied that he was stitching the boots. Max then asked where the machine came from, and his father replied that it was given to his grandfather as a gift and that it had been passed down to him when his grandfather had vanished. Years passed and the small boy grew into an adult. Max traveled daily to his cobbler shop and worked as a cobbler like his father. He adopted the experience and skill from his father and used them to brilliantly handcraft shoes. He then went outside his shop for a break and met with Jimmy, who also owned a shop alongside his. Jimmy encouraged Max to be proud of being a cobbler, as his father and his grandfather was a cobbler. Max went back inside and a lady named Carmen came into his shop. She told him that she was from a company that buys regular shops and turns them into luxurious places. Max took her card and agreed to give her a call after some thinking. He then went back home and met with his mother who was watching some TV. He went back to his shop the next morning and met with a customer named Leon. He got his shoes polished and then gave him a pair of shoes to get them fixed by six. Max agreed and took them to his machine to get them fixed. The machine sparked and broke down. He then went down to the basement and got his old man's machine working and started to stitch the shoes. He brought them back up to the store and decided to wear them. He looked in the mirror and saw Leon's body. Talk about stepping into someone else's shoes. He freaked out and closed down his shop. He then started to think around and figured out that the stitching machine had something to do with the mystery. He got all the customer's shoes he had and brought them down to the machine. He started to stitch them with the machine and then wore them. He found out that he can transform into all these customers who are alive or even dead, male and even female. Later he traveled on buses and started to brew some plans. He later tricked his neighbor Jimmy by transforming into an old man and then got the taste of fooling the world with his powers. He collected shoes from different customers and started to pursue his evil plans by changing appearances in restaurants to not pay for the food and even stealing people's vehicles to drive them freely. He later transformed into a famous handsome man and went into a bar. He really put his best foot forward. He got some drinks and got approached by a lady who looked interested in him. She got in a cab with him but dropped him off after he told her about where he lived. He then walked down the street feeling invincible when, right after, the guy who he had morphed into exited the building right in front of him. He saw him and greeted him, but Max had quickly taken off one shoe and had transformed back to normal. He later wore the shoe back and went into the famous guy's home where his girlfriend was showering. She saw him and then invited him to join her. He got excited but then figured that he couldn't possibly take off his shoes. I can't do this. Gotta go. Are you serious? Yeah. So he fled immediately before something bad happened. He went back to meet his mother and saw the company girl Carmen again on the news who was being interviewed. The next day, Max saw Carmen again and started to develop feelings for her. Looks like he's stepping up his game in the love department. Later, he got his father's shoes, stitched them, and then wore them to transform into his father. He told his mother to dress up and then surprised her with her husband's appearance. He then took her out to dinner, danced with her, got her back, and then tucked her into the bed. Max came back to her room the next morning but realized that she wasn't awake and not responding. He fell to his knees and started to cry when he realized that she had passed away. Later, he set up a funeral for his mother and had people over who consoled him. He later went back to his shop and met with Leon again who didn't have his ticket and rudely demanded his shoes back. Max got angered by his behavior and decided to teach him a lesson. He transformed and then followed him back to his apartment. He entered it and met with his angry girlfriend who he had broken up with. He then started to search for the watches but found his stack of weapons and accidentally electrocuted himself with a taser. He woke up, saw the time, and then tried to leave but got met with Leon. He saw himself and started to strangle him. Max then tased him down with the weapon. Later, he transformed into another young boy and asked him where his watches were. He got the information from him and took the watch box and was about to leave when Leon's men came and knocked at the door. Max interrogated the man and found out that they were there for a deal of $50,000. He got excited and went with them while transformed. Max got taken to a mysterious place where a man who had stolen money from them was tied down, beaten, and about to be killed. Max freaked out and asked the man to behave and not steal again. He then told his men to set him free and then left the scene. Max then got taken to a luxurious house where he was provided with the cash. 
Max went back to Leon's apartment and found out that he had freed himself. Leon started to choke him down but freaked out when Max took his shoe off. Max then tried to flee but accidentally killed the man. He then went back to report it to the police, but when he got back to the apartment he found out that the body had disappeared and so did the cash and his bag. Later he got back to his shop and found out that his bag and cash were placed on his table in his shop. Jimmy came to him and tried to calm him down and reason with him but couldn't. Max transformed into another person and went back to the luxurious house to return the money but unfortunately got knocked out when the boss disagreed with him. He woke up in the back of the taxi and then wore the shoes to transform into a rotten man. Looks like Max woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Or was it the wrong side of the taxi? He then scared the guys off and escaped away. He then got back to Carmen and told her about the plan of the evil guys to burn the building down. Carmen believed him and then went to that building to warn the man in it. Carmen was a true shoe-in when it came to believing Max. The old man denied leaving when Max thought of an idea and took his shoes. He stitched them up, wore them, and then transformed into the old man. He then went to the evil lady and made a deal with her to leave if she gave him $100,000. Later, she sent two men to give him the money when Max cunningly stole their shoes as well. Max then made one of the guys follow him and taste him down. He had given the old man the money and made him leave while he transformed into him and stayed back at his apartment. He then got met with the evil lady who came and threatened him. Later, a news team came from the other room and caught her red-handedly. You son of a bitch! Oh, 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 oh. Max went back to his shop when Carmen came to him and asked him out for dinner. Later, he transformed into Leon and went back to his girlfriend to give her all of the watches. As he returned from the apartment, he got kidnapped into the car. As the car drove away, another one slammed right into it and Max got knocked out. He later woke up back in Jimmy's shop and asked him what happened. Jimmy took his shoes off and revealed himself to be his father. Max freaked out and at the same time got angry at him. His father then took him to a secret lair underneath and showed him all the shoes that were there. He then took him out the back side of the shop in his private car while discussing all the friends and foes he needed to know about. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.